Welcome, welcome, and welcome to the Department of News Max. This is your Chief Engineer, Boule. I am presenting you the fourth episode of our Coin Grading with NGC series. Before we begin, please do me a big favor. Show your love and support for the channel by hitting that subscribe button and that bell notification so you'll be kept up to date when we continue to post great content on this channel. And speaking of which, I speaking of that love and support, re, this is this is great. The, I this channel hasn't been around very long. Uh, I'm doing my best I can to get the content on here you want, and I really appreciate the the wonderful feedback and support that I've been receiving from our community. You know, through the comments or through uh, individual emails. So thank you for for all that you know love and support keep the ideas coming so this is just as much your channel as it is mine so i want to bring the content that you want to see and you know maybe a little bit of entertainment in there too so i did mention about hitting the 200 uh subscriber mark and i will post uh a video we'll talk about a celebration uh in uh in that video and I'll try to get it out sometime next week so do a little coordinating on that this weekend all right let's get back into the coin grading with NGC so we're back at the website we're gonna hit submit out of submit and we've already completed step one two and three of the process so let's finish it off prepare and send in the previous video kind of went over glanced through this all some but let's just hit the highlights about how to package your coins for submission. Now, this is for the typical, normal coin submitting process, not your unique situation like I I, I was with the congratulations set, uh, whereby I had to keep it in the shipping packaging, you, the you know post office or UPS, whatever, shipping packaging from the mint to maintain the, you know, integrity or whatever you want to call it for the congrats set. So, but the normal process is here. You have to use a 2.5 by 2.5 inch uh, Mylar flip. You put the coin in one pocket and then when the invoice, the copies of the invoices are printed, uh, you also get an additional page, which you cut out the labels that you see here. And then you place one label in the other pocket of the mylar flip and then you know fold it over nice and crease it so that the invoice number and the line item for that coin to be graded is showing so you may have you know this may say line item one it may say coin one of two and the other one coin two of two so if you have you know multiple coins in that same line item so make sure you keep your coins and the labels you know, separate it and uh, group together. So, you know, helps uh, alleviate some confusion and hopefully helps speed up the grading process as well. And here's some additional instructions. You do not use glue, tape, staples, etc., etc. So all this you guys can, uh, can catch up on and uh, process it. Here, just to re reiterate, back in the beginning of the invoicing process, it instructed us to select the NGC holder or slab that we're that we need for the coin so it is dependent on the overall on the size of the coin standard size the double thick and then the oversized so you can see from the diameter and from the thickness of the coin that will determine which holder you will need so uh, be sure to you know keep note of this as you're filling out your invoice and in here, this is just a link to the printed instructions. We, sh we showed that in the last video here, so we'll just quickly go through it. Uh, it just reiterates everything that, that we've been talking about in literally the last two videos. And here's the submission process, all the steps. If you, if you would like, this would actually probably be a good idea. You could like print this out and then use it like it's a checklist as you go through the invoicing. And uh, it has you, you, the instructions here a little bit, you know, a little bit, uh, a little more detailed than the pop-up screens on the invoice. So, like I said, it couldn't hurt to have a printout of this copy and uh, keep it handy. One last thing I wanted to 
uh, point out is the section on the invoice where we declared a variety. And I found this on the NGC site. What is variety? Okay, a variety is a coin that has characteristics specific to the die pair that struck it. Most collectible varieties can thus be traced to a set of dies. So my understanding from what I've learned throughout the community, these varieties are set up, you know, not only just by the mint that, you know, that, that uh, specific characteristic came from, but also that die set in that mint. So that one mint could have different die sets. And so that would uh, lead to different varieties for that particular coin struck at that particular mint. Um, just to clarify a little bit more, a variety may be defined as a die or die pairing that offers some distinctive feature, not a normal part of the design. So there you go. Uh, I think they call it double strikes, your uh, die cracks, uh, some other you know, unique flaws that uh, may appear in the coin. I think they call it the wishbone on Kennedy's. So those are the, I believe, what the varieties are. So I wanted to point that out to clarify it. And, and quickly, here it is. There is the picture of <laughs> my congratulations set in the envelope is uh, three copies of the invoice and the uh, uh, waiver disclaimer form authorizing NGC to open the capsules for the two congratulations sets. And then below that are those two uh, flip labels that I mentioned before. And they're taped to the box. So there it is. There's the shipping box from the Mint. And then there's my shipping box to NGC for grading. <laughs>